hello guys welcome back again to my after effects tutorial channel this is randy from Rans graphics and today i'm gonna be showing you how to create an elegant polar slideshow inside after effects you can download the project file in the link in the description given below so you can follow along with me so without any further ado i will show you what we are gonna be making today composition and I will name it image placeholder 1. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p three frames per second and I will just change this to ten seconds duration. Click OK. Open my assets, go to image and I will drop down this image on my timeline. I will press on my keyboard S for the scale, scale it down a bit move it up then I will go to composition again and create a new composition I will name it text 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click OK I will grab my text tool and I will type elegant polar slideshow Paragraph centered. I will highlight the slideshow and I will change the font size to 120 and I will go and align it at the center. So, as you can see, I'm using Source Sans Pro Semi Bold. I will go to Composition and create a new composition again. I will name it Polar Mat 1. One nine twenty by ten eighty p three frames per second and ten seconds duration. Click OK, and I will go to layer, create a new solid. I'm using a white background colored solid. It's up to you guys. Whatever color you want, it doesn't matter. Click OK. I will go to effects and preset. Go to distort. I will apply polar coordinates. I will move my plate about one second. Hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe. Make this a hundred percent. Move my playhead at the beginning of my timeline and press you on my keyboard for the frame to reveal. I will hit the diamond icon here to create a keyframe. Go back to one second duration. Change the interpolation here to zero. And change the polar to rectangle to rectangle to polar. So this is what we got. So now I will press P on my keyboard for the position and Shift S for the scale. I will animate this position and scale of the shape. I will go to 1 second duration. I will hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe. Enable the title action and save. I will change the value here to 0. And move my playhead back to the beginning of my timeline. I will hit the stopwatch for the scale and change the value to 40%. And then move my playhead probably 15 frames and change this to 100%. I'll go back to the position. I will just make this shape out of our canvas and I will scrub my playhead to see what happens. There you go. And so I will go to 2 seconds duration. I will change the Y position to 162. I will press you on my keyboard to reveal all the keyframes and highlight all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease it. And open your graph editor. Highlight all these handles here and make your graph like this. Let's try to preview it. Okay, 
that's what we want I will close this one and now I'm gonna create another new composition and I will name it media one I will click OK I will go to my project panel and drop down this polar mat and the image placeholder one I will change the track mat here to alpha mat so now this is what we did highlight both of them and duplicate it change the color to probably purple so it's easy for us to identify and highlight the polar mat and press R on my keyboard for the rotation then make this 180 As you can see I will highlight these two layers right click my mouse recompose it and I will name it bottom move all the attributes into the new composition I will click OK I will highlight again these two bottom layers right click my mouse and recompose it and I will name it top move all the attributes into the new composition then I will highlight these two layers again and duplicate it go to edit I will change the color of this to blue so it's easy for me to identify it I will highlight these two layers go to effects and preset generate fill just want it white and I will highlight again these layers I will move my player to about one frame probably here and then press my keyboard open bracket key to move the layers so if we will scrub our playhead this is what we got now I will go back to my project panel and drop down this text on my timeline and highlight this bottom and duplicate it and move this bottom above the text layer and make your text layer an alpha mat so there you go so I will go back to my project panel and I will create a new folder name it scene 1 I will highlight these compositions and I will drag it down to my scene 1 folder and again I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2 I will open the scene 1 folder I will highlight it all and duplicate it I will drag the duplicated compositions to my scene to folder and then double click my mouse to open it up I will go first to my polar map change some settings on it first I will press U on my keyboard to see the keyframes and shift R for the rotation I will change the rotation here to 180 I will move my playhead about here the first second duration and I will change the position to about 540 and take this one out I will go to the beginning of my timeline and change the position from here to the bottom I think that should be good enough let's see there you go so this is what we want right so I will go to text 2 and I will change the text here to 100% procedural I will go to my image folder and change this image I will open my asset folder and drop down this image into my timeline press S on my keyboard for the scale scale it down and I will open my top two compositions I will press on my keyboard out and hold it highlight this placeholder one replace it with placeholder two I will highlight the polar mat one and replace it with polar mat two go to the bottom two 
open it up and highlight this image placeholder 1 replace it with image placeholder 2 also highlight this polar mat 1 and replace it with polar mat 2 open your media 2 and highlight this top and replace it with the top 2 and also the bottom replace it with the bottom 2 Also the text one, replace it with the text two. And I will move my text layer here to the one frame duration. And let's try to preview it again. Nice. It's up to you guys if it's for you too fast. You can adjust the polar mat here to about two seconds if you want to. But for me, I just want to use it one second for now and move this keyframe here scale to probably 8 frames I will open also polar mat one I will move this one to 8 frames so now I will go to composition and create a new composition I will name it main 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second and still the duration is 10 seconds I will click OK and I will drag it down so that it's out of the scene 2 folder I will open the scene 1 folder and drop down the media 1 and I will open the scene 2 drop down the media 2 I will move my play at about 5 seconds or maybe 4 press open bracket key to move the layer so now if we will preview this one let's see there you go so guys our tutorial for today is done and i hope that you will subscribe like and comment don't forget to press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the coming days so my thoughts for today guys is that don't worry if you will face trials because in every trial you will learn thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless